Hello friends. Tensile strength means the identification of the largest strength of the fabrics and their elongation in length under the largest force with the strip method. In this test, we use the universal testing machine, ruler, scissors and holder jaws. First, the samples are conditioned under standard atmospheric conditions for 24 hours. To begin to prepare the specimen, conditioned test samples are laid on a flat surface. When preparing samples, fabric specimens should not be taken from places too close to the edges. Specimens must be taken from no nearer the selvage than 150 millimeters. In addition, specimens must not be taken from wrinkled places and places where there are folding traces. Two sets of specimens, including five warp and five weft test samples, are prepared. The sample size must be 60 millimeters by 300 millimeters. When drawing the samples, it must be made sure that they do not include the same warp and weft threads. Samples drawn parallel to the long warp edge are tested as warp, and those drawn parallel to the long weft edge are tested as weft samples. We cut the specimen properly and we are prepared with scissors. After cutting the specimen, it is trimmed by 5 mm on the right and 5 mm on the left. When trimming the specimen, it is checked whether the strip in the middle is 50 mm and then the trimmed test specimen is subjected to a test in the universal testing device. First, the device is prepared for the test. Long jaws are placed for testing. There are two jaws of the device. One of them is the lower jaw and it is immovable. The upper jaw moves at a fixed speed. Then the indicator value is set to 200 millimeters. It is checked to see whether the indicator length is 200 millimeters. After this process, the elongation rate of the sample is set to 100 millimeters per second. Then, looking at the weight of the fabric, a pre-stress value is entered to the computer. The pre-stress value is estimated according to the weight of the fabric. 2 Newton pre-stress is exerted for fabrics with 0 to 200 grams per square meter weight. 5 Newtons for 200 to 500 grams per square meter and 10 Newtons for 500 grams per square meter. Then the specimen is placed into the jaws symmetrically. Meanwhile, we must be careful that the specimens are not placed too loosely or too tightly. There must be no pre-stress on the fabric. Then the force and elongation values are reset on the computer of the device. And the OK button is pushed and we start the test. The mobile jaw begins to move with constant speed and the test continues until the breaking point. In the meantime, we must make sure the jaws do not slip. The breaks at the bottom of and inside the jaw are not taken into account. After the break has occurred, this value is stored on the computer. 
and the same procedures are followed for the second example. In this way, five warp and five weft test samples are tested, and the test result is given as the arithmetic average of five samples. Again, and the test result is given as the arithmetic average of five samples.